Hey all, so it has been a while since I last posted here. Um, things have been very busy for um, our business, our consult pipe drive consulting business, which is ISO Solutions. Um, but this pipe drive has also been very busy and has come out with a lot of new features. Uh, one of the really good ones that I like, it's not one that they really publish that much, but uh, I really like it. Um, it really helps with your workflow within pipe drive itself uh, is the new way that you are able to manage activities from the activities tab in pipe drive. So um, as a background, a lot of times how I would typically consult my clients and tell them to manage their day within pipe drive is that they start out working in the pipeline view. So they log in, this is your home screen. It's a great idea, a great way of understanding, okay, this is what I have on my plate. Um, these, This is what my pipeline looks like. We can see, for example, in this demo pipeline that I have, uh, it's looking pretty scrawny. There's not much there. Um, all of our activities are overdue or there's no activity scheduled for some deals. So there's certainly a lot that has to be done. But um, my, my recommendation for clients has always been, all right, come in, um, work, uh, see what new leads came in, right? If they came off of a web form, chat bot, something like that, you want to answer them quick. So see what's happening in the, this first section of your pipeline, this first um, stage of your pipeline. After that, I've just been telling people just go to the activities tab and then work down this activities list, right? The same philosophy still holds, but what's really cool in the new feature that we have here is um, this little button here, the, the details uh, view, um, button that we have that's that's something new that pipe drive implemented so what that does is let's say we have all these activities do right uh it can be kind of annoying going back and forth or clicking on a deal and saying okay um we have the in-person appointment with john smith let's click on the deal and that's exactly not what i want to show you let's click on the deal go into the deal check that activity as complete, then go back to the activities list and keep on managing it that way. Uh, you're clicking all around. Um, it's not the most efficient way to do things. Um, so what I like a lot, lot better um, is now you can use this details feature, right? Um, so let's say, okay, John Smith, great. We click on the deal uh, and we see the activity right there from this view right here. We never leave the activities page, right? So let's say we have that in-person appointment or whatever that activity is. We email John, for example, we can email John right here now. Right, be able to email John uh, and then send it and then check the activity as complete, right? And then you're able to move on to the next activity, right? Okay, so next activity on the list is we have a discovery call uh, with for this Tesla deal, right? We have that call, check the activity as complete, move on, to, and then you can move on to the next um, thing on the list there, right? So you see how much more efficient it is that now uh, you're able to see the deal details right from the activities page. You can see the whole entire file on your screen um, and you're able to you know, go down the list of your to-do list in chronological order here just by hitting these up and down buttons, but you're still seeing all the, the contextual details that you need uh, in order to follow up on those different activities that you've scheduled for yourself or that other team members have scheduled for you. Um, so that's it for this video. Really quick video there, but it's something that um, when I saw it, I was actually, you know, pretty happy about it. I think that's a, it really helps to improve the efficiency of, of managing tasks in pipe drive. Please let, know, please let me know what you think about about that. Um, please remember to click the thumbs up button, subscribe, notification bell. And uh, if you have any questions about Pipedrive and you'd like to reach out to me or my team, you can fill out the, um, the Pipedrive form down below. See you in the next video.